Let me give you a wake-up call. Welcome. This is Top Tier Tips. Greetings everyone, this is Force Nature your top tier tips and I welcome you to your prize spot for tips and tricks to help you level up in Dead Life 6. Alright, in this session we're going to be taking a look at Lisa Hamilton, also known by her stage name as La Mariposa, the butterfly. Alright, what is there to say about Lisa? Alright, she's a scientist by day and high-flying luchadora wrestler by night. I actually scratch that, I actually don't really know if she's working as a scientist anymore because she kind of like rebelled against like... Donovan and I think she might have also been like replaced by Nico. I mean hell I mean Lisa's really supposed to be like dead right now. She kind of got like Crushed and should be dead. So who knows this Lisa might be a ghost. So I mean like, Yeah, Lisa is the ranged grappler in DOA 6. That means that she likes throwing people or things like Nico she likes to toss her around but it also means that she likes to fight at range, so that means like spacing with like 7k6, 4h plus k6, 1h plus k6, so lots of stuff you can like use for keep out. You can also poke with like um 3k4, I mean like different pokes like that, 236, 236k4, I mean it's okay. But she also specializes in like tricky offensive holds, like jumping offensive holds for instance. Hint hint, these cannot be punished with a stand in throw. <laughs> So let's see, there's a bunch of them right here. Let's see what kind of other ones are there. Yeah, stuff like that. Anyways, once you're done, Lisa's. Come on, training? And combo challenge? Then you're ready to bop fools online and dazzle them with your fancy footwork. Not quite. It should take a little more than that to swag with everyone's favorite scientist L luchadora extraordinaire. Lisa is a grappler, but the main focus with her is around space control. So what you want to do with Lisa is trying to find ways to have the opponent respect your space. I already showed you some examples of moves that you could use, such as um, 7k is a good move, and it does, if you press forward or 6 after the 7, then you move into... Lisa's uh, special run-in stance called Carrera Stance. The, even though it's a, it is technically a stance, it could be just it's just simply a Lisa's basically just run-in mode. So she has so from her Carrera Stance, she has different options from there, such as her her um six six uh six six k six, which which go basically goes into her run-in again, so you can kind of like on an opponent's block. You can loop it. I'll give you a little heads up that this, this is advantage on block. It gives... Oh, not that, but it gives you... It gives you plus six on block. So right there, you can mix that up, for instance, with... With their, with their offensive hold, so you can get kind of a Fisher-Price mix-up with just doing... Something like that, but that's a, that's just a, a small example of, like... I admit that's a bit of a shenanigan but that is the kind of stuff you want to kind of condition the opponent to do is to basically is to respect your Carrera stance to like also respect your space so once you get the opponent um, respecting those kind of things then you can try and sneak in the offensive holds. When playing Lisa I highly recommend not fighting in close range. I mean she is really slow like right now I'm just gonna put on the best box in the whole wide world the uh, move details box and right now, it's going to show you that Lisa has a 11 frame jab, uh, 14 frame 6p, 13 frame 6k, and a 16 frame 2p. And she also has a 14 frame high kick. These are slow speeds. I mean, like, generally, what I want you to do is find ways to try and get into mid or long range where Lisa is more comfortable. But if you need a get off me move, then you can use. 4H was K. All right, I will I will give you a little heads up that this this move does push back a bit, so kind of like neutral throws will whiff. If someone tries to punish it. I mean, like you see, it's minus 27, so you could get strike punish for that. But if someone tries to do like a tick throw, it might whiff. But like even like a 6T can whiff. But if you do it to someone and their backs like to a wall, then they can squeeze in 60s, which do tend to go 
pretty far. If you do find yourself fighting in close range with Lisa, and yeah, it will happen, then you can poke with stuff like PKK4. It will leave you at uh, minus four and leaves Lisa back turn. Anytime Lisa is back turn, you could do a a quick 4-4 four, four to end up like creating space. So this is the same for moves like anything like 3k4. Anytime you're back turn, just do a little 4-4 four, four, and you'll be able to go back. This is the same for if you want to poke with something like 6p k4. See right here, you're left at minus three. It's the same mid kick as like pkk4, 3k4, same thing. So when it does hit, it causes a little stun. If you use PKK, you get plus 22, then you you can follow up with a booty bump. <laughs> for, I mean, yes, that'll just let you know that um, Lisa's booty is one of her best moves. 12 frame, um, it's a, well, just a 12 frame mid. It's called a mid PK, so it counts as both. Plus 18, although it can be held by either mid punch, mid kick, it's, uh, well, it's considered an unholdable, so the opponent just does a sidestep. So when you're back turned, if you want to follow up, you can do like a booty bump or launch you can launch right away with just with 4p and just take some um, simple damage with an air throw if you'd like a cheap poke with um lisa if you do find yourself in close ranges use something like her 2k p k right there leaves you at plus 22 and it's only minus five on block it's ending with the same um it's ending with the same knee as 6k which is just minus five on just minus five on block, so you're you're fully safe from punishment. How the string works is go. It starts off a, a low kick, your 13 frame 2k, a high track in P, then the knee. If you do if you do connect it, then you'll be you'll be at um, plus 22, so you can you can sneak in a 3p. I'll give you a little heads up that the window to actually do that is kind of tight, so you can easily be late. The plus 22 is kind of deceptive. You basically have to essentially treat it as like a single string. So I'm doing 2k... I'm doing 2k, p, k, 3p as basically one whole string or it will end up being too late. You can also use 6p if you're afraid of being late because um, 6p is two frames faster than 3p. And also this string also has a high option. Well, not that one. Right there, at least you had a plus 32 um, stumble stun. This, the high option is... It's minus seven on block, so it's semi it's semi safe. So you can uh, uh, the opponent gets a free neutral throw attempt, so you can break that with a neutral throw. If you do connect with that, then you can try and sneak in a six H plus K for a bound. Alright, apart from the string that I just showed you, you can also do something like 2kk4. Leaves you at plus 7 on normal hit, and of course you can have your chance to dash away. The reason why I want you to do the the back option or 4 option, because if you just simply don't press it, you'll be facing forward and at minus 8, meaning that you'll leave yourself open to forward throw punishment attempts with unbreakable throws. Oh, and also, with regards to 3k, it's also a, a really good instant low crush. So this is a 15 frame instant low crush. Talking about crushes right now, that's actually what we're going to be looking at right now. All right. So apart from yeah, you and like your jab, 6k or like 2p, 2p and close, and of course 4h plus k. Uh, what I recommend for an instant high crush is like 1pk. See right here, this 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 is just a good. Um, even though the first move is 18 frames, the second hit right there is minus 5 on block. It's a track and high. Actually, both hits tracker. Actually, this is a pretty lengthy string, and all parts of it do end up tracking. You see right there, you can end with a low. You can end with a high guard brick that is plus 4, although the last part is either a, it's either a high or a low, so you can kind of just go under it but still this I still like this string quite a bit I don't recommend necessarily doing it in someone's face but around like hovering around the like tip of like mid or close range then you can end up making use of that string pretty nicely for some more crushes it's Lisa you have her good trusty breakdancing kick 1k just like this instant high crush it is 21 frames and is unsafe on block but it's got 
good old reliable 1k, 2k, double sweep, sweep the leg. But you also have other different moves you can do out of that, 1kk. And there's also an extended string out of there too. So there's that. You can also set up a bounder with 1kk pp. So yeah, and, and if I'm not mistaken, there is a, a new option out of there, which actually could be pretty sneaky. 1k p. So for this move, you see it is minus 8 on block, so that still can give an opponent a chance to do that. But if you can mix that up with like 1k 2k, uh, what, uh, 1k k, you could sneak in that new headbutt. Uh, for other low crushes, I also like her 2H was K. I mean, yeah, it's a t this one's a 27 frame low drop kick, but for some reason, a lot of people just kind of freeze up on j on jumping lows, which is always nice. And if it's at blocked, you're at plus one, so you can try and sneak in a knee or 4PK4. So I mean, there's like different things that you can like kind of do with that. So so yeah, but th these crushes will come in quite handy for you. If you're at a bit of a range and you know someone's to do a low, you could try and sneak in either things like like 6H plus K or 9K, but that'll just let you know these moves are pretty slow. So so for the so for so for a, a go-to low crush, 3K is probably gonna be your best bet. And for a go-to um high crush well apart from 2P. 1P and 1K will probably get the most usage for you. As you could probably guess, Lisa's mid-range and long-range game is pretty good. Alright, for go-to mid-range pokes, really just 3K is just such a good move. 3K4 is such a good move with Lisa that you can poke with this at mid at mid-range. Same with 6PK4. It's good. You could try and sneak around tip range um 1K. Although again, at 21 frames, it's a bit of a, it's a it's a bit of a slow move, but um, but yeah, for for poking, I recommend um like, uh yeah, there's also well, that's more of a get in six six p k, but like six, b uh six b k four, but if you want to do something more with regards to keep out, then yes, I recommend seven k. This move, if you press forward, it leads into a Carrera, so you could try and sneak in like um. You could try and sneak in like the K, the K option, the P option. So it's just there's like different things. If you want to get sneaky, you even got a low out of it. And of course, you have your offensive hold out of it. So yeah, 7K is a good move, even though this one's more of a um, keep out. So this is, it's not really necessary a poke. You could try and use it as a bit of a mild bait, but this is mainly for like people that want to like try and get in on you. And if you have your, and your faster option, of course, is your your 12 frame 4H plus K. Same thing can lead into... Same thing can lead into like the same type of options, which is which always good, so... So yeah... So yeah, with Lisa, her, her, her mid-range game is like, it's, it's pretty nice. Lisa at long range is pretty similar to how she is around like mid-range. Like at long range, her 7K is still a good option. You also have 4H plus K, but I don't recommend this one as much. Just because 7K has less recovery, so it's a... I find it's a better option for mid to long range out, but you also can implement another move as your one H plus K. See this move here is is a what is a plus one guard break that knocks the opponent back like pretty far. See right there, it's it's I don't know it's only a plus one guard break. It should be more advantage than that, but it's it, it it is what it is. So it's still it's still a positive guard break. It's kind of hard to kind of really capitalize off it. But the main thing about this is just like the other moves I showed you. It could go into her Carrera stance, or you can try and like s sneak in a move. And of course, if you do want to get in move, I do recommend just using going into Carrera because the opponent has to just have to kind of guess what you're gonna what you're gonna do to them. And remember, Carrera is more or less is just simply her running stance. Seeing, but uh, I did also probably have gone over it a fair bit in this guide that. This move on block, if you go into stance again by holding forward, you're at plus six. If you don't do that, you go, you push off and then you're at minus six. But either way, you are safe from that move. So if the opponent is like tries to like sidestep or anything, then you have to try and catch him with the offensive hold. So yeah, but 
With Lisa, though, her keep out is really good. And remember, anytime you need to create space with Lisa, use your 7P. See this? It creates a lot... It creates a lot of space. Hell, you can even go into Carrera off of it. And if you're feeling frisky, approach with this. Booty booty, only minus 2 on block. Plus 18 on normal hit. Booty booty. Lisa's throw game is good. I mean, it's, it's pretty much like the primary reason I play the character. Well, apart from, like, booty booty, of course. But I'll let you know, being a grappler, Lisa has a 4 frame neutral throw. So that means she can punish minus 5 on block with that. That's really good. I mean, like, a 4 frames, 50 damage, really nice. And she also has a 6 frame punish throw. 56 damage for the ability to be able to punish minus 7 on block. That is, like, really handy. Actually, she has two 6 frame throws, like, 4 4 T also. Gives you plus 11 in the opponent's back turn, but unfortunately you can't really get anything guaranteed with that. So you can try and... You can try and just um, poke with the opponent. Try and, like, fish for something after it, but you usually can't do... Oh well, yeah, if... If Lisa has her back to the wall, and you do this, if I can just position it right... Then you can do stuff like chuck a Nico into a car and get a juicy 66 damage for that. Oh, and also Lisa also has a 8 frame throw. Well, if you do it to an opponent's back, you get that one, but in general... Oh, wow. If you chuck him into a car, you also have a nice wall throw there. 74 damage, but if you just chuck him in normally... 64 damage, and it creates a lot of space. And as you can guess, Lisa likes space. Instead of having 12 frame throws, Lisa has a bunch of 11 frame throws. So I'll show right here she has a... She has a combo throw right here. It's a three-part throw, which is breakable at any point. If you get it completed, you get 105 damage, but I generally don't recommend it just because there's just... Lisa is just, I gotta say right now, her other 11 frame throws I actually personally think might be a bit better. Um, she has another one that's okay, her 6-4-T. Like back in, um, back in Dead or Alive 5, this throw was a lot better when you can just get a free booty bump. But right now, I would just recommend just simply launching right away. Then you get your, then you can get your new um, for, uh, back turn air throw for 68 damage, which is okay. But generally, the main, another main reason to play Lusa is essentially for this throw, the deja vu. And I only got two parts of it. This throw is a little different from this two-part throw, or I should say three-part throw. Is that? That one's breakable, but the Deja Vu is not breakable. And it just looks so badass when you hit it. Look at that, 76, 76 damage if you end up hitting that um, normally. Let's see how much that is on high counter. Not that one, there we go. One hundred and twenty-one juicy damage right here for just chucking your opponent with the deja vu. So yeah, get down that throw. It is such a fun throw. In fact, for the deja vu throw, I'll give you a, a quick tip. Um, generally, the input that I recommend for this is after the half circle, do two full revolute. Just do two full revolutions after it. So kind of like this. So if you do two full, uh, if you do two full circles to the left side so counterclockwise it will end up um positioning yourself to be able to get the input so it's more a matter of uh, making sure that you get in the the two full circles during the input so so you, you can do that to end up um buffer the second part of the throw which will immediately lead into the third part if you end up doing two full circles like it will help you out a lot and now for the fun part of lisa the offensive holds all right, if you see right there in the middle of the command list, you'll see an icon that says OH. That stands for Offensive Holds. That's DOA's form of catch throws, which means a throw that can beat out the onset of a strike. So it's really handy. As you see, you should, you should see five of those icons on the screen right now, like 8T, 3TT, or like 66T, for instance. I'll let you know that your 66T or 8T will probably get quite a bit of usage. But as you scroll down, you say... Like, holy crap, Lisa actually has quite a bunch. She has a bunch of them, as you can see, they're out of strings like... Like a 9KT, 7KT, 1KKT... And even things like, um... Quarter Circle Forward T and stuff like that. So she actually like, has quite a bunch of offensive holds. I'll just show you right now that your go-to offensive hold with Lisa and probably most characters is Forward Forward T. Your 16-frame offensive hold, which deals 40 damage, which translates to... 
64 damage on high counters, so it's like it's kind of modest damage. Um, when you have the opponent on the defensive, like uh, or on wake up, you can try and sneak in 8T. People can surprisingly freeze up quite a bit unless you do it like right in front of her face. And what you do is you crouch, then you go for through a low throw to punish it. The big, big the big thing about jump and offensive holds, which Lisa has a lot of, they can only be punished with a crouch then um, throw. So you cannot like throw it on reaction. You need to consciously crouch then throw. And and uh, heads up, it takes four frames to crouch. So jump and offensive holds can come in quite handy. Other uh, uh, jump and offensive holds, well, I say off of like. Carrera, try and sneak in that one. This one, I, I know a lot of her jumping ones actually are kind of gimmicky. They, they feel like a badass when they actually hit. Though, so, but yeah, the most co common one will be the one out of like, out of Carrera stance. I mean, apart from the two I ended up showing you right there. Lisa also has an alternative offensive hold to her 66T, which is her quarter circle T. It's a 20 frame offensive hold that deals 45 damage and looks almost like the same animation. Between which one you do is quite frankly your choice. The main reason why you do the slower one is you want to try and like catch a strike and you get a little extra damage, but really either one is either one is fine. I mean 66T is probably a bit better just simply because it's faster and you can sneak this in more easily so you can use whichever one you like. In DOA 6, Lisa also got a new um, hit throw to complement her her 7k string so off of her 7k k you'll see that you have a small combo throw opportunity and you can end up getting in her which is a, a, a mid kick. You see you see a little combo throw on the screen if you press the throw button right as you see that then you can get this hit throw which actually does quite a bit of juicy damage. As a grappler, Lisa has one low throw and one low offensive hold. Her low throw is four frames and deals 55 damage. So that means anytime the opponent does uh, like a low of some sort that leaves him at minus five on block, then you can get this in for free if you if you end up being on point with your punishment. She also has a 10 frame low offensive hold right here. You see you see combo hold appeared when I do this. So that means when you do the timing right, you end up getting a launcher right there and you can end up doing like a little follow up with there. Here, let me show you. Oh, and it gets even more fun under a ceiling. Don't think just because Lisa has her back to you that she can't throw you. All I can say is, watch your ankles. Yes, Lisa has a 12 frame throw from back turn that will catch anyone that's standing and does 54 damage on normal hit. Unfortunately, if you crouch, then you're kind of shit out of luck, so... Yeah. Oh yeah, and she also has a back turn offensive hold like so. And it deals 60 damage and you feel like such a badass when you do it. It's just such an adi it's just such a fit in throw for Lisa. I mean like booty booty. Oh, and she also has 8T too, another offensive hold. Alright, for Lisa at a wall, I'll say that Lisa's not really the character to play if you wanna like push someone into a corner. Uh it's just that a lot of her moves are kind of like just they're just kinda slow in general, so I don't really like kind of close range. But if you do want to wall slam something with the opponent, you can get the small wall slam with like counter hit 3k. So with that, you can end up um, going for like a 3-3p launcher. Then just do like a 4pk and 6ppp. Um, moves that can wall slam is really stuff like p plus k, 6-6pp. Like a bunch of these things like can like wall slam 6 6 60. So really a lot of stuff can wall slam. It's just the kind of issue that a lot of this stuff is slow and of course 4, four H just K can wall slam it has a lot of recovery. But let's say you wall slam with P plus K which is which is which is also can serve as like a good, a good guard break or something like that. And you can just do 6 PPP. Let's take a look at Lisa's guard breaks. All right throughout most of this guide I already showed you that 66 KK6 or Carrera K6 will be your go-to um your go-to um guard break. I mean, yeah, you have to go into the stance or you'll be left at minus six. But another good guard break is something like P plus K. It's 28 frames, but it's a 
It's a good low crush, so you can use it as a bit of meaty. Leaves Lisa at... Leaves Lisa at, at, um, at plus 5, so any of your usual pokes will generally beat out whatever response the opponent does if they're not blocking. Um, it's also the same as like... As like 6 PPP or 3 PP, but I like just doing just a normal people's K and getting the guard break. But another actual interesting guard break with Lisa is her... Anything that's like her back turn... P plus K, so even stuff like like nine P plus or nine P P plus K, uh, seven K P. So you see right there, it leaves le anything like this leaves Lisa at plus seventeen. So with plus seventeen, you can get in a free elbow. So that's so that's uh, that is quite that is quite good. So. Again, I mean, you could, you can't use it as freely as like Tina's own kind of um body flip move, but this is um pretty good though. I mean, like, I mean, it's always nice to have guard breaks that can give you like a, a free guarantee. So like, so if you could tr try and and get this set up, then you can you can get in them get in free six Bs on your opponent. It's also un unholdable, meaning that the opponent will just do a. Uh, a side step they do it, they'll just end up doing the kind of a um, little side step motion that they try and hold it so yeah this is a it's a pretty good guard break just a little heads up it is a little slow at 33 frames so you you can't be too predictable with it all right guys that's it for now all right with lisa what i highly recommend is to try and play a bit of a a bit of a zone and keep out game so you can even do shenanigans like 7p6 7k6 1h plus k6 and stuff like that and try and get the opponent to to respect um 4h plus k although of course if you if the opponent's being defensive they will punish it properly but yeah lisa's ranged game is really good but yeah trying to avoid playing in close i mean it just doesn't really work for her and also for lisa her back walk looks amazing <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's it for now. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact me on my YouTube, Twitter, or Twitch. So that means leaving a comment down below. Be sure to also check out my other guys, Top Tier Tips Advanced Guides, which I will be continuing on. And my character guides to get a nice, well-rounded look at this nice, colorful, beautiful game that is Dead or Alive 6. And if you'd like to support this channel, feel free to join Top Tier Fighters. The support does help, and I do appreciate it. Thank you for those that have joined. But anyways, this is Force of Nature signing off. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time on Top Tier Tips. Winner! Science must be used for the right reasons.